All right, everyone. Um, obviously, today I'm doing this video from the comforts of my home, sitting on my couch. So um, I think a couple videos back I had talked about this and I wanted to do a video on, I think I called it the scams of vehicle shipping. And it's really not a scam. It's perfectly legal. I just don't necessarily agree with it. So as many know, I actually shipped 10 vehicles from California to Tennessee, eight of which were my own and uh, two of which belong to two buddies. And, um, but I'll, I'm just going to focus on my own vehicles. So what I normally do is I'll go on you ship and I will um, just put the details of the shipment online and they'll come back with prices. And like most people, I'll go with the lowest price. This time I actually went with a different website I found and it, just because I was able to put in multiple vehicles and kind of some details because I needed the shipper to show up here in my, at my place in Tennessee and knowing that I wasn't going to be there, I needed them to get my vehicles off the trailer and I needed to move them into my shop, lock my shop up and make sure everything was secure. So there was that. And, um, so I went with this other website and most of what I was getting was around $10,000 for eight vehicles, open carrier and around 13,000 for a closed carrier. Um, I have one company and it's, it's actually broker. These are brokers that do this as most people know, but one broker came back like just a little over $7,000 for open carrier. And I thought, man, that's cheap. So I contacted that broker and I said, well, what would you charge for clothes carrier? And it ended up being like less than two grand more. I know it was under nine grand um, clothes carrier. So I was like, hey, let's go clothes carrier. That sounds great to me. It's actually cheaper than open carrier with all these other companies that are you know, giving me the bids or what have you. So, okay, he goes to work on it. And after maybe about a week, 10 days or whatever, he comes back and he says, you know, I just can't find anybody. It's going to be an extra X amount of dollars. And we'll say it was like closer to, um, I don't know, like, I think it was like, it was like an extra 1500 bucks. Let's just say, um, I don't remember the exact numbers, but I was like, I'm okay with that. I'm still like right around basically what I was going to pay for open carrier. I'm fine with that. And for close carrier. Yeah, let's do it. So send the money and a few hours later, I get a, a text from the guy and says, hey, I found somebody, they'll do it today, good reviews, all that stuff, but it's gonna be like an extra $3,000. And that kind of irritates, it's like bait and switch type thing. And I was like, no, and you know, this does not jiving with me, it's not setting with me, but is it in closed carrier? That was a question I had. I said, is it in closed carrier or is it open? So sends me a picture finally after a while of the trailer and of course it's open carrier. So basically I'm paying more than these other companies were bidding me for open carrier. That irritated me. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Forget it. Let's just call it good. You can refund my money or what have you. So broker comes back and says, yeah, you're right. That's way too much money. I apologize. Got him down like half of that. Um, but again, it's open carrier and ends up being actually a little bit more than the other companies were bidding me. But at that point in time, I'm just like, I want to get it off my plate. I want to be done with it. It can be done today. Let's just do it. So I say, okay. And I go for it. Um, what I didn't like is a broker kept contacting me, even while the vehicles are being like loaded up and like, Hey, don't get, don't give the, um, the, the shipper any of this money or that money, send it to me and I'm going to broker it all. I'm going to take care of it. So, what I found out, and I didn't know this, um, when a shipper came here to pick up a vehicle for my buddy Jesse, Jesse had, was, was one of the guys that shipped his vehicle out here, and it was a vehicle first fall in law that's going like a state away. It's like three, three and a half hours away. So I'm talking to that shipper, and um, he's telling me that basically he ends up getting a third of the money, a third of the total money paid out. He gets a third of it. So that means a broker gets two thirds, which doesn't seem right to me. You know, the shipper is the one that's doing all the manual labor. The shipper is the one that's incurring the fuel costs, that's incurring uh, the wear and tear on their vehicles. It just doesn't seem right. At best, it should be 50-50, but I really think the shipper should get the majority of the money. They're incurring more of the expenses. You know, brokers just sitting there trying to throw it out to different shipping companies and see who will take, who will bite on it. So to me, that's just a scam. Um, as far as my experiences with vehicle shipping, I've always had very good experiences. 
I will sh say on this one, uh, having the 10 vehicles open carrier, I did su sustain some damage to my Plymouth, the top of my Plymouth, a couple of scratches up there, which I can get fixed. Not a big deal. The vehicles were obviously dirty and been rained on, but you know, open carrier, what do you expect? Overall, I'm very happy with uh, the shippers, both shippers that I use that brought my vehicles out here. They did a good job, took care of things, did what I asked them to do and everything like that. It's just the brokers that I, I just think that's a bit of a scam. So um, what I have tried to do and what I'm doing out here now is just to get people who do shipping locally here and, you know, we're willing to like make a little a bit of the travel or what have you and just go directly to them. To me, you know, save the middleman, save the broker fee, and that makes more sense. I am planning to probably buy a um, car a trailer very soon and get my truck set up to do that since I don't have anyone really to go get me, go with me, I should say, and, you know, drive the vehicle back. I'm going to have to start loading them onto a trailer and strapping them down, which is something I've never done, but uh, I'm kind of looking forward to that. But yeah, I think that's going to be my next big purchase here really soon. So, um, give me your experiences and your thoughts. Have you had any experience with shippers? Good, bad brokers, good, bad. I'd like to hear what you have to say about it. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So as always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And with that being said, God bless. Take care. Have an absolutely amazing day.